you can do it. Come on, Warren. It's up to you, baby. That day in Omaha, you know, everybody remembers the home run, everybody remembers the hit, but few know the whole story. But few know the whole story where as I'm on deck walking up trying to focus in on what's the task at hand and not let the thoughts of man this is it. I'm the only thing standing between us and losing. Two outs, bottom of the ninth, we're down by a run. Tim Lanier, as dejected and as sad as he was, he's walking back to the dugout after striking out, but he said those words. He said, pick me up. And that, that just clicked for me. But what I now know is what we think of as that pick me up, we call it a word cluster. Yeah. So my buddy Parrish, he's yeah. gonna come in. Yeah. He can tell us all about that. Yeah, man, I love this, I love this. Where did you get, where did you get to be up? Was that something, Bertman? Exactly, yeah, Coach Bertman, yeah. that was something that he shared a story with and you know we kind of took it from there and it was something where every team after that used it. Yeah, but you heard pick me up mm -hmm. and it clicked for you, didn't it? Right. What happened when you heard those words from Lanier? I think it got me back in the right mindset, yeah. took me out of thinking of the enormity of the moment. Yeah. You know, it was more about, hey, let's focus on what my task is and let's just focus on let's, what can I do to be my best at this yeah. point. Well, that was whew, a few years 21 ago. 21 years ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, science now lets us know that a word cluster, that's what we call that. Word clusters are very simple. Now, every athlete that's performing at their optimal state, you know, zone. Right. Yeah. Um, that's what a top athlete is gonna learn to do, is you're gonna have all these thoughts obviously popping in, gonna create pressure. So the skill that we're gonna teach on this workshop in Mental Five is how do you develop your word clusters? Right. And word clusters are something that coaches need to know how to develop for their athletes, but that athlete also needs to know how to do your own word cluster. So what we wanna give you in this little clip is how to develop a word cluster. So. One of the things you do as a coach with your athlete, or if you're an athlete, is I want you to think back to your best performance. So you're literally getting inside your head, and you're gonna go back to a time when you just really kind of surprise yourself. Right. And I want you to ask a couple of things. You're gonna ask yourself in that moment, what was I thinking? So you're gonna to try to get inside your own head, and again, these are the skills that we're developing. And then what was I feeling, you know, and what was going on? And so you're going to write a little story, and you got to journal this. you got to write all that down because inside that story, inside your answers, what I was thinking, what I was feeling, you're going to find your clusters. And word clusters really are nothing more than, than four or five words like pick me up. Pick me up. Again, the coach established that. Pick me up. Four or five words that support your task. Mm -hmm. So uh, what you're doing with your word clusters, once you do your exercise and you have all your words, breathe calm, relax, you're going to repeat those. And like in the game of baseball, you're going to start that when you're in the hole. Right. You start that mental routine. We were talking about it a lot of times batters, because we're using baseball, will go through that same routine, right? They'll, they'll do this and mm -hmm. they'll do all these things. So it's a physical routine. Right. We're talking about a what? It's a mental routine. Right. And that's what your word clusters are. So coaches, the key for you on a, a cluster with your athlete is you got to hold them accountable to that during practices. Again, it strengthens conditions in. So you're on a drill station and you see you're now going to go up to them and you're going to have a dialogue with them about what are your word clusters. And you're holding them accountable. You expect them. When you say word cluster, they know what they are, you're asking for and the coach knows what to look for. It's all a part of optimal performance. It's what we now know when you see elite athletes performing at the highest level. This is what they're doing. They're getting inside their head. They're using their word clusters or the mental five, which is what we're going to cover at the workshop. Absolutely.